In today's show, we'll be learning about the China trip. More information on the Spain trip and the Metropolitan Walk. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hi Vikes, I'm Madison. And I'm Jessica, and you're watching SVTV. Before we get into the announcements, let's go learn more about the China trip. A handful of students went to China over spring break for an educational experience over China's culture. We talked to Ms. Wang and some students who went on the trip. Well, uh, I think this trip is very important to all my students as because they've been learning Chinese for a couple years and I think it is time for them to go visit China to see real China, not like the one they, they know from me or from the book or from any other like social media. So when they get to China, they can see, they can compare what they have learned in the class, what they have learned from the social media to what they are really seeing there. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna make a huge difference in their life. When we went to China, um, we visited uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and Chuzhou, and we went to many places in there of uh, significant historical value or of uh, just some interesting facts with uh, touristy areas and uh, just generally went around and tried to experience China in its whole. While in China, students stayed with the host family for three days. A lot of the people in China are just like very like loving and welcoming people because I only knew my host family for like three days, but for the three days that I was like there, they like loved me. My favorite part would definitely be uh, going to Chuzhou and staying with my host family because that really felt like it was the most authentic part of the experience. Students can't wait to go back to China. There's another chance in 2021. All of the students told me that they liked the trip and they're already planning to go back to visit. Uh, yeah, I want to go back again senior year. I would go back. Uh, if I was ever told that I could go back to China, I would immediately say that I wanted to. That sounds like fun. I wish I would have gone. Sophomores and juniors interested in Washburn Tech should plan to attend the open house on Tuesday, April 16th. For more information, check out the flyer on your Schoology page. Seniors interested in giving the opening speech at graduation, see your Class of 2019 Schoology page. Your speech must be submitted by April 15th to Ms. Welch. Be sure to come and see the Seaman players and the Topeka West players this Wednesday night, April 3rd at 7 p.m. $3 will get you in. If you are interested in drawing, art night is April 4th in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Materials will be provided. The career fair is April 24th during seminar. You'll need a ticket to get in. If you're taking an outside date form or an underclass, underclassman to prom, make sure to get an outside date form. Afterglow tickets will be on sale before school and at lunch. Students, make sure your, lab, your computer is in your laptop case. There are many scholarship opportunities coming up. See Schoology for, for more information. If you are interested in helping plan activities, fundraisers, and dances, come get an application in Ms. Gallagher's office or in W17 to join Stuco. Seaman High School students interested in driver's ed can enroll online. The cost is $175. Please contact Mr. Tinsley with questions. Let's go over to, to Allie to learn more about the Spain trip. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Ms. Martinez to talk about an update with the Spain trip. Yeah, so we are going to have an informational meeting on Thursday um, evening in my classroom, W20, um, at 5.30 p.m. to talk about the Spain trip for anybody who just wants more information. Um, we were doing an informational sign up and we have a really good amount of interest. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and have a meeting. So whether you have signed up or not, go ahead and head to my room, 5.30 p.m. this Thursday evening, um, enter through the south doors and bring a parent if you can because they always have really good questions and we will tell you everything you want to know. Awesome. If you're interested, make sure and go to the meeting. Now back to your anchors. If you have any questions, go talk to Ms. Martinez. Let's go to a quick commercial break before our sports. 
Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar, according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. Somewhat of a song expert and host of the world-famous Guess the Song, Ethan Guzman has hidden small rectangular-shaped pieces of cardboard around the school. If you are one of the lucky contestants that returns one of these cards to him, you can be in the next Guess the Song. So start hunting. How do you get your hair like this? Wow, I've never seen hair like it. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, wow. okay, you're done, you're done. You're done. Man, how do you get your hair like this? This is actually nice. Like, I, I love this kind of style. You condition, do conditioner, conditioner. Cut it out, please. Okay. You should turn on the TV. Yeah, channel five. Okay. Hurry up, I'm bored. Channel five. Uh, Sophie. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> we got like like we're in Hamlet. Too bad these aren't worth anything. I'm outside, I go on a job. job. It's a type of animal, it's a hog. Cut it off a tree, it is a hog. Life improv? Desserts. Only three dollars. That's Buck Wild. Craziness! Zooey Mama. Spirit Night is this evening during the Lady Vikes soccer games. This Wednesday, there will be an informational meeting in W12 if you're interested in being part of the auxiliary team. Volleyball players, there will be an informational parent meeting on April 11th. Let's go over to Allie to learn more about our weather. Good afternoon, Vikes. Josh isn't here today, but he'll be back tomorrow, so just bear with us for today. So today's forecast, we are currently at 59 degrees, and tonight we'll drop down to 43. In the three-day forecast, we have highs in the 64 for Wednesday and Thursday, and lows 49 and 44. And Friday, we jump to 71 as our high and lows in the 50s. Today in history, we have Quavo's birthday and National Peanut Butter Jelly Day. Now, back to your anchor. Thanks, Allie. We have a story on the Metropolitan Walk. Let's go check it out. Oh, I didn't see you there. Let's go. I can't keep my hands steady. As you can see, this bad boy is one of my favorite pieces of modern architecture. It's ancient of you. Whoa, don't hit me, train. It's not real. As you can see, this bad boy is one of my favorite trash cans in the entire city. You just throw it in there and it's gone. I'm the trash man. <laughs> the Office, that's my favorite show. <coughs> this is the middle of the show. On to the next bit. Excuse me, sir, do you know how to get to the weather room? He's just shy. Now this is one of the great fruits of Metropolitan Walk. We got Thagus Plasticus. Let me just stick it in my pot. Wait. We gotta leave no trace so the next person can see this beauty. Surely this was a success. As you can see, there's a lot of places you can walk in Topeka. Ain't it a view, beautiful city? I haven't been downtown in a while, but it sounds cool. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow, there will be a story on what's trending in teacher dance. Mm -hmm.